In this video, we're going to look at solving an exponential equation where we have an exponential on both sides of the equation. And we're going to find the exact value of the solution. Now, typically when we have an exponential equation, we want to isolate the exponential piece. When we have two of them, we might not be able to ex uh, isolate both of them. So what we'll do is we'll isolate one of them by dividing by, in this case, two is probably the easiest because those will cancel those out and those will reduce. So we end up with e to the 3x equals 2e to the 5x. Now at this point, uh, the way I like solving these, I see I have an exponential on both sides and it has a base of e. So what I'm going to do is take the natural log of both sides. Okay. Now on the left hand side it works out pretty nice. We can pull this exponent out front. We get 3x ln of e, or if you're familiar with the inverse properties of logs, it's actually just 3x because ln of e is 1. Now over here, and this is a common mistake, I cannot pull the 5x out in front right now. The 2 is not being raised to the 5x. So I'm going to have to use a property of logs first, and that is when we have a product, we can write it as the sum of two logs, ln of 2 plus ln of e to the 5x. Now, here we can pull the exponent out front, like we did over here. So we have 3x ln of e, which we'll get rid of here in a second, equals ln of 2 plus 5x ln of e. Now, as we mentioned before, ln of e is just 1, so those basically go away. And what we have is 3x equals ln of 2 plus 5x and we need to solve this for x. So we're going to subtract 5x off of both sides for instance. It's not the only way to do it, but there they can cancel out. We get negative 2x equals ln of 2. Last step, divide by a negative 2 and we get x equals negative ln of 2 over 2. Now one thing we can do with that negative out front, we can actually put that back into the exponent of 2, which would give us ln of 2 to the minus 1 over 2, which is ln of 1 half over 2. Another acceptable way of uh, writing the answer. So uh, depending on how you decided to simplify, you might write it in one form or the other.